Didn't realize I didn't hit the play button. <laughs> it helps when you hit the play. <laughs> what is going on, everyone? Rainer Rock sales gal galidas. Hello, hello. Hello, Internet. Welcome to Game Theory. No. <laughs> what? I watch way too much Game Theory. <laughs> Oh, I don't like these wings. I hate your cuffs. I hate your cuffs. All right. Maybe I can size it up halfway. That's not bad. That's not too bad. Joshua, what is going on? Middle of nowhere in Montana. Juice Spicer. What is going on, my friend? The Green Faction. Welcome to KSP Theory. <laughs> Zoe, good evening. Hello. So, I'm not really flying this one. I'm just building this and I'm going to sit it out there so I can just have something to pick up later. Because I need something to represent a shuttle that has glided in and has landed in the water. I have to destroy something every day. Subscribe to Juice Spicer. Uh, that depends. What what type of videos are you doing, Juice Spicer? I like I like uh, a creepy pasta videos. Actually, anytime I'm not doing KSP, it's usually creepy pastas that I'm listening to, or Fallout lore. <laughs> Destroy the perfect JRA subscriber score. It's mostly comedy. Hey, everybody needs a little comedy. That's the way I see it. I'm just going to throw these on here. I just want to... Just putting these on here for effect. Just putting them on for effect. Okay, so... Let's throw this on here. Okay, that'll work. <laughs> Joe Manella, <laughs> a censored porn channel. <laughs> oh, he just busts up on camera and starts dancing. Where is my microphone? I need to pull this thing over here. All right, let's pause this thing and let's let's take you guys out here, man. Oh, um, let's see. Let's pop out chat. There we go. Let's pop out chat. Yeah, and you know what? My my advice, if you want people to check out your channel, is definitely find. It uh, is like uh, Joshua was saying, you have to find the right community. Uh, this this aircraft, Galatus, is is just the placeholder. Just the placeholder. Ah, uh, come on, dude. You know you can't... We can't have that type of... Rep uh. <laughs> be, be kind, Juice Spicer. Be kind. We are all here to uh, enjoy a bit of laughter, a bit of games. Now, if you do have a, a channel that, you know, you... Uh, that you like you're doing your own channel i don't mind if you pop in and you know if you have um like i have on my discord on my discord i have a i actually have a channel where you can go in there and you can drop in your videos like if you have a video you want or you're about to do a live stream you drop your information there and we can go in there and we can and that is an, a better way to expose not expose yourself you don't want to expose yourself but um and then you can actually uh it, it's a good way to get your your some of your stuff out there now to be honest i wouldn't jump on a, a on a, another stream and start advertising your own video because usually that's looked down upon <laughs> i usually don't do that um just because it's usually looked down upon and a lot of people are just going to x place just to hang out and talk especially here we're talking a lot of space 
So definitely best bet is to look into uh, the different forums, Reddit. Uh, Reddit is a really excellent source, um, as well as Google Plus, uh, some Facebook channels to advertise your your channel. And look, that, that's just free advice I'm giving out. I don't have the greatest channel in the world, but those venues will help you expand out a lot quicker. Because right now we we have a very small cut of the community. <laughs> We're here. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, I, I don't do it because I have seen it happen to other people, and some people got absolutely reamed for self promotion, and it was like, wow. Can you ask me a computer question? Go for it. I always answer. I try to answer computer questions. <laughs> the streamer's weird brain. I do have a weird brain. I'm sorry. It's not the size, it's how you use your channel. <laughs> I didn't say that. <laughs> Alright, so let's get this thing into the water. I'm obviously, I'm not going to fly it into the water, but... it's This one isn't meant to fly, it is just a stand-in prop. For... I was going to drop this right here. Okay. This is not the craft we are using today. This is what we are going to pick up. This is what we're going to try to pick up. So, <laughs> what's going on, Green Faction? <laughs> uh, we're going to try to pick this vessel up. And I have no idea how I'm going to do this. I have some ideas, but I think I can do it. I'm thinking a giant structure comes in and actually forms a cage around the wings and the craft itself, and then an entire thing lifts it out of the water, and then we fly back in. I don't know if that's going to work, <laughs> but I think it might. Okay, so let's jump into here. See if we can figure this out, because this is going to be a little nutso, and we're going to be using a few parts I barely use, and that's going to be the problematic part. Okay, so here's my test shuttle. I need to. I'm gonna gauge how big this thing is. All right, so we're we're pretty normal sized here. If you look at it, we're pretty normal sized. If we can make a craft that, if we make a craft. It is mighty sunny. It is the sunlight on my face? The sunlight is usually on my face. The sun is a bastard. <laughs> sun, sun is a bastard. Um. So if we make something that can wrap itself around all this, and you can see here we have the basic shape right here. We can use these outlines here. So we can use something that is outside of these lines. Our cage pretty much has to be this big. That is going to be a huge cage. That is going to be a huge cage. All right, let's start building this. Okay. So I'm going to use the COSAC. Uh, it looks like I'm running out of Kerbins. Um, Yes, that pesky sun is right in my eyes. It's right there. Maybe that'll work. That's a little better. Okay. Um, and so... Um, hmm. And... Okay, so what we need to do, we need to bring, we're going to put all of our fuel up front here. And we're not going to need much fuel. <laughs> I did, did not see the lines there, huh? <laughs> I 
I mean, they're useful, but most people don't even see them. Uh, have I tried doing replicas? I have done a few replicas. The only craft I really enjoy rebuilding is the A-10. Because I absolutely I love the A-10. It is one of the most beautiful, disgustingly awesome aircrafts out there. The Warthog. And so I, uh... I rebuild that one quite often, and then I try to improve upon it. And I've done a VTOL A-10, and that was awesome. <laughs> and hard. It was hard. Uh, so we need to build a cage. First things first, let's get this thing out here. This cage is going to be huge. All right, let's get our... Let's get the preliminary cage built my scare is is that the cage isn't going to have the strength to actually hold the craft up yeah the caproni the kalinin I, yeah I, i've done i love i love old aircraft um i'm wondering if it's going to be easier to claw it in you know what I'm saying? If we just come over top of it, float, lower it down, boom, cage over the wings, and then lift the entire thing up like that. That could work, and then I can strengthen the hinges by using a uh, some robotic parts. That could work. That could work. Okay, let's do a test run of that real quick thinking on the fly here um so we need this an old amd dual core i actually was running ksp off of a low powered 50 dollar tablet um now no mods <laughs> it was a windows 10 tablet and it allowed me to play KSP on the go because I was I am currently still an addict uh, badly with Kerbal Space Program. <laughs> I can't even say used to be. All right, let's let's do this. Let's do it this way. Um, this and this, and let's expand this out. But I was running it previously in my living room. My old living room computer was a dual core AMD. And it ran pretty well. It actually would work. Uh, I just couldn't put any mods on it. You had to tone everything way down. And then I rebuilt the computer and it uses an A4. So it handles pretty well now. Alright, so we need to still go out some more, don't we? I think we're good there. I think we're good. They really need some better controls in here for this. Because I need to actually gauge the size properly. This is one of the few times that having the... That having these lines actually help me out. Okay. That should work. Okay, so that gives us the length we need. We actually don't even need this because it was just, no, we do because it was back to the yellow line. It was yellow line and to the edge of the white bars here. Okay. I could, but I think I got it because we need to stay, we need to be here. And here. Our wings are in this yellow line here. The front nose of the aircraft is here. And it was out here on this box here. And the rear of the shuttle is over here on this yellow line. That's how I keep it all straight in my head at least. <laughs> It is going to be a helicopter plane. It is, indeed. 
Okay, so I need to make room for the tail. And the tail comes like right here. So I actually need to, we're gonna come up here. And then we're gonna come here and this is gonna go back. And here, okay. So that gives us our framework for our snatch grab. What's up, Death? <laughs> Death Witch. What's going on, my friend? Love your belly. I love y'all too. <laughs> so right now we have a weird, funky airplane man looking thing going on here. Um, right now I'm trying to think of how to get this to actually close in. I want. I need to have... Cycle, what's going on? I need to have this structure up here, but I need the claw ability to close, to actually support the weight of this thing. All right, so let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, right now we're still good. Because remember, we need to be out here so I need to extend all these by one. Okay. So let's roll this back a little bit and let's see about our framework. This is our framework for our aircraft. This looks redonkulous. <laughs> But it should work. Um, now we can actually, let's see where we're at weight wise. All right, we're still good. Um, we can throw some fuel tanks here. And throw this. Hopefully we don't need an extra propeller. Let's see what let's see what we look like because we have some really powerful propellers and I'm going to use the dual so I don't have to worry about the tail. Here it is. Okay. Oh no, it doesn't have enough power. Okay. So we're going to have to use this one. All right, so this goes here. Swing this up. And now we can go like this. This thing actually has quite a bit of power still to it. Oh, look at that, we're still at one. That's pretty sweet. Uh, we will we will keep that. Um, so now we need to go ahead. I'm gonna put a second one on here. So. I don't have to worry about matching the weights. <sighs> and then I just have to center the lift on this. That's going to be the most difficult part. But if I go like this, and then I put one back here, I can reverse. I can put the normal non-reverse main prop on here. Yeah, it does. The game does take a while to load with mods. That is one of the downsides to having a lot of mods. Okay. This one, for some reason, does not load the textures. I need to look into that. Uh, so what we get here is this weird-looking craft. That technically should work. All we have to do now is build the claw arms. And this should work. Uh, crap. That's right. I was supposed to, um, I was supposed to do the engines on that. That's why this is even here. Okay. 
I got it. I got it. I got it. Here we go. Yes, the module manager patches take me forever. I remembered the air intakes. <laughs> I did. I, I'm pretty proud of that right now. So let's go ahead and sync. I want to sync this down in here. Oh, wait. I can't do that. I'll melt the beams. Crazy Mr. Tim! What's going on, my friend? Uh, we do have to start strutting this because if we don't strut this, then the Kraken is going to pay us a very dangerous visit. <laughs> I know, it takes me, it took me a while. I usually get too excited. And then I forget to include the air intakes. <laughs> it's a trend. <laughs> a very, very sad trend. Uh, I feel like I feel like I've just crossed a new threshold. I remembered the air intakes. Put that down low. So, I think you guys are going to like Friday's video. I actually recorded Friday's video. It took me a while, so I had to record it yesterday and do a lot of testing to make sure. Was, actually, I only did one test run to make sure it worked. But it was a very long and painful test run. God, it was a long and painful test run. But it worked mostly, kind of, somewhat and only exploded due to my own failure and uh, in, ex in extreme excitement. Uh, but after that, I got it to work. <laughs> okay, so that should be enough for the struts. I'm going to throw one more back here. Catalog, what's going on? Oh, dear God. Skylines is a dangerous game. I've wasted... I, I can't say wasted. I've spent a lot of time playing City Skylines. A very dangerous game. I bought it when it first came out. And oh my God. So worth it. So very worth it. I'm worried about this inner one right here. Alright, let's try to do something here without oh, god i'm gonna have to i'm gonna have to hope that this one's gonna work without taking too much struts okay we're gonna go for that all right we're gonna turn these off and check our thrust check our weight uh we need to adjust well, we don't, we're not adjusting anything yet. We need to build a claw formation here. Yeah, KSP, I will admit, I got, I was also victim to getting burned out on KSP. Um, I was playing science game, the science uh, mode, and then the career mode came out. I started playing that, but I got a little bored of playing it. And eventually I was like, I don't, I don't want to do this. And so I jumped into sandbox mode. Oh my god. The magic was back. I still sometimes I find myself kind of wondering what I'm going to do the next week in Kerbal Space Program, to be 100% honest. Because sometimes you just like, I don't want to. <laughs> and then I'm like, wait, I have an idea. I wonder if this could work. And then I'll try, and then I'll spend hours trying to get that thing to work. So I mean, that's the that's the blunt truth about playing KSP. Eventually, you're going to burn out, and there's not much you can do. I mean, you're going to burn out. You you're going to burn out of a game if you play it too much. Um, I don't know why I'm moving that one backwards when this one actually needs to go forwards, but. Yeah, 
I can just move this fuel back. Uh, not like that, because that would be the wrong way. Okay, that'll work. All right, so that gives us closer. Now we need to build our claw mechanisms. So let's lift all this up and start to build our claw. These are like <laughs> quick one hour builds are like the hardest thing to process sometimes. Okay. So we need to actually strut this real quick. All right, that's done. Whew. Okay, we're doing, actually, this looks really good so far. Um, so here we can try method number one. Method number one is we land over top, like so, and these come down like so. Qualified ESA engineer, what's going on? Uh, today we are building a shuttle repossession device. This we're, we're gonna fly out to our shuttle that's currently parked into the water and we are going to scoop it up and hopefully fly back to Kerbin. Free Radical, what is going on? <laughs> this is life, my friend. <laughs> oh, man. Nice. Things get a little crazy, a little nutty. Uh, we may blow up the KSC. That may happen. It may be a thing. But the quickest, the way I think this could work, uh, we just have to worry about the wings. The wings come out to here and here. So as long as we stay outside of those yellow bars, we should be okay. And I'll do a uh, I'll do a quick test to make sure I'm not in there again. Make sure I'm not touching those yellow lines. <laughs> exactly. When they when they land on the water and they have forgotten to pay their bill, we can run out to the water real quick, snatch up the craft and then go. Lance Schreider, how am I today? I'm doing fairly fantastic. How are you today, my friend? Like, usually I'm, like, throughout the day commenting on uh, on our Discord. But lately I have been s just swarmed at work. <laughs> I haven't been able to do anything. I've been so busy. But research is research. All right, so let's swing this down, and that should be our base. Our platform is designed and ready. So, so what we need to do here is get our floats on here. And turn these off. So these floats are from Fire Spitter. We're just going to try to use these and hopefully they'll work and keep us buoyant without bouncing us too much. Explodeology. I like that. I like explode. Explodeology sounds mega nice. All right. So let's jam this next one on here. <laughs> vanilla <laughs> I have oh my god when was the last time I played vanilla that was the on version 1.0 it was the, I think the last time I played vanilla or 1.2 I think it might have been okay our floats are ready all right so let's race these up real quick Oh my 
god, this looks ridiculously fun. This thing's gonna be interesting to try to fly. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Uh-oh! It's too far away. Um, okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Not do that. Okay. So let's bring this over here. Yeah, you guys need to start. You, you guys can name this one. And Bodie McBoatface is always a legal name in my book. They already have a boat named Bodie McBoatface, didn't they? Oh, such a waste. Okay. And this needs to go here. <laughs> Bunny McBoatface is the most awesome name ever. Okay, so... Here's the scary part, is making sure that... I just want, I just want to make sure that this holds. Even with all those struts, I fear that, that this part will fall off. The Hawk! That is a pretty cool name. Chicken Hawk. Spider Hawk. <laughs> Boatman. Um, so we need to now. Okay. Alright, so now we need to come up with our hook mechanisms here. Which I'm gonna try to use. Oh wait, they don't exist in this one. They don't exist in this one? I don't have the legacy parts. All right, no big deal. No big deal. You can grab some of these stackables. And Um, what we need to do, I need something that's going to go down, extend, lift. So down, extend, but I want to be able to go in and out as well. And that's going to cause the flex of hell. So we can do something like this. That's going to allow me to go in and out. But I also don't want to sink it through there. Uh, let's go like this. There we go. All right. Let's go like that. <laughs> yes, yeah, uh, so that's going to give us our ability to go in and out. So we can call this, we'll call it the, chi the chicken hawk, the shuttle hawk. Okay, so we need to check. We're going to do a reach check on this just to make sure it can reach far enough. Okay, here we go. There's going to be so many of these. Good lord. Three, 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 three. All right. And that brings us inside the yellow lines. If we can get it further out, I would feel more comfortable because it's going to sag. And that sag is maybe a bit extreme. 
and I'm not sure how to correct that sag right now. That's going to be the painful part. All right, test two, let's see. Extends. Oh yeah, that's perfect, okay. I'm wondering. I'm wondering if I can have it interlock with itself. And normally it's a terrible idea to do that. Uh, <laughs> I, would, I would be the guy that they would let go first due to his insane ideas breaking things uh, if I were to be at ISA. Uh, <laughs> let Billy do it. Don't let Billy touch anything. Not after the last incident. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, you know what? You know what? I could rotate it. And just in case it doesn't want to latch together, I could have it rotate. So that way it goes out and then rotates up. And that will hold the craft in. So that way I don't have to worry. Oh my god, that could work. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so let's take this off and we need this here. This goes here. Okay, so now we go like this and we go rotate and this one is extend. Okay, drop our rotates down. And yes, the, oh my God, I do not, I wish I had the gantry. I wish I had the gantry. Oh my God. I really do wish I had the gantry right now because that would save me so much time. All right, so these are going to have to be lined up pretty accurately to make this work properly. Uh, <laughs> Everybody gets triggered so much these days. Why are you getting triggered? My, my OCD does kick in, but I force it down so that way I can get this built at a good amount of time. Okay, so let's get all these lined up, because right now they're not. This was good there. Good there, and we're looking decent there. <laughs> okay, so what happens? We fly over. <laughs> We fly over the entire thing, and we land in the water. It floats because the, the the pontoons that we have on here, and then we kind of use these jets to get our way over and in. It's like a, a, a freaky spider clown. And then we call this poor thing out. I'm so sorry, Infernal Robotics. It is dragging right now. It does not want to do it. Too many. Too much. So we extend these. Underneath the plane. And we can lower this. Whoa. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. Okay. Everything on this side needs to be low. Needs to be reversed. All right, so you get a reverse, and you, and you get a reverse. There we go. So we go underneath the craft, and then we lift the craft in safely. 
giving it a little upward pressure to restrain it. And then we fly back and everything falls apart mid-flight. That is the game plan. <laughs> That's the game plan. <laughs> it's a terrible game plan. I don't like it. Okay. So now we need to worry about balancing this entire thing out. This is not going to work with my propeller because that propeller doesn't go back far enough. I need to go further back. So let's extend our propeller out a bit here. All right, that'll work. Uh, this needs to be all the way back here. Control surfaces. Yeah, I haven't even put the wings on yet. Okay. The wings are going to throw me off a little bit. What are you doing here? What are you doing? Oh, you're there. Okay. Whoops. I'm going crazy. It's okay. We won't speak that that even happened. Um, this, though... Needs to be pulled. Wings. All right. Let's pull this here. And Shuttle Hawk is kind of ready. <laughs> Let's throw some wings on for effect so we have a little glide time. It makes your chopper more stable anyway. Uh, so we need some big wings. I should install procedural wings and this build my wings as one solid part. <laughs> wings are for the weak. Uh-oh. Sounds like my dog wants to go out there really quickly because it sounds like my family's in. All right, let me open the door for her real quick. I know, little girl. Go get him. Go get him. Okay. Um, so, let's do this. Auto strut to grandparent part. Grandparent part. Auto strut to grandparent part. Okay. Well, we're just going to put some in the front and back. I don't think we need anything in the middle. Wait, we can't do this. That's where our tail's going to be. Crap. Crudderusky. All right, all right, all right, all right. Um. 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 I got it. 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 So this goes here, and these are going to go from that to multiple. All right, Cycle, I'll catch you later, man. I keep getting that sideways all right there we go all right so we're there and now we need to up front and now we can slide this forward or back okay that gives us that and let's throw some wings up here <laughs> 
Flapping its wings. You know, I've tried that a few times, and a, a guy built an ornithopter, and I was, re I was, he was actually explaining how he did it, but I never did actually try to replicate it uh, with any serious effort. I just kind of puddled a while around a weekend, and I was like, yeah, maybe I can do it. Maybe not. And I never got around to building my ornithopter. I actually went and did the physics experiments instead because I was having a lot of fun building those. <laughs> Here we go. Five minutes. Five minutes is a lot of build time. Five minutes is a lot of build. We've been building for almost an hour. Holy crap, I am so sorry. Okay. Well, let's get this thing. We are we are almost done with Shuttlehawk. We just need to throw on control surfaces. We're going to use the big Elvons. Yes, the Ornithopter was absolutely amazing. That thing was so cool. I remember seeing that and I was like, wow, someone built an Ornithopter. Whoa, and it doesn't use the hack, the uh, hacks for, what's it called? Uh, the infinite glide hack. <laughs> All right. And now we can throw another one up here. You know what? No, I'm not. I'm going to put this here. Okay. So you are just y'all. You handle pitch and you handle roll. Dom, what's going on? Uh, you know what? I don't want to use that one. I'll use this one. I almost picked up um, that that Microsoft Flight Simulator that they had on Steam. Almost picked it up, Dom. I almost did it. Sticky Mations, what's going on? We we are, whoo! We are building <laughs> a shuttle recovery system for large shuttles. All right, so let's go ahead, get ourselves out a little bit here, and snatch this, put that up here. And here. Okay, I think we are to the point where we can balance out our propellers. So let me go ahead and do that. Uh, this needs to be up a little bit. I can use I don't want to use those. <laughs> I started thinking and my brain kind of went on semi shutdown when I started thinking about the tilting the wings because the game does not like you tilting wings. Oh, sweet Jesus. What are you doing? There we go. Okay. That should work there. Okay, okay, okay. Let's roll this back. N n not that. Oh dear God. I hit control Z. Oh dear God. Oh, there it goes. Okay. We're only at 231 parts. It's not bad.
good old DOS. Oh my god. You know the first sim that I played was, was well, besides Starflight, the first actual flight sim that I actually involved, I uh, actually spent a lot of time in was actually called Falcon F4. Is it Falcon F4? Falcon 4.0. Falcon 4.0 was the first one I played, and it has been a while. It has been a long time since I've played Falcon 4.0. I played Falcon 4.0. <laughs> Just 4.0. Um, before that, it was... God, there was like Starflight, there was Terminal Velocity. <laughs> but none of those are really flight simulators like... Falcon 4.0 was. Oh, we're so close. It's so close. Ooh. Oh, beautiful. Okay, so we nailed that. So let's go ahead and let's pull this off. Straighten this up. Okay. All right, all right. So we are ready for our test run. So, first things first, let's save Shuttlehawk. Now we need to do our custom groups. We need to go here and go here. These need to be on toggle. Toggle. This one needs to go to here. And this needs to go toggle. This needs to be switch mode. Um, I forgot to add in the electrical systems. That's really quick, though. And I'll balance the, the systems here. Oh, Joshua! Joshua's got... All right, well, go, yeah, homework first. Games later. <laughs> I will catch you later. All right, I think, I think four is more than enough, actually, to be truthful. The best flight simulator out now. Ooh, that's a hard one. And is anyone playing a lot of flight sims? Uh, I, I lean to Elite Dangerous, but that is a space sim. <laughs> but it is an awesome one. But it needs to, you know, I can't really count that as a flight sim. Toggle converter, toggle converter. All right. I think we're ready for a test run. Okay, so let's go ahead and boost these all the way back up. Oh my god, if this flies stable, it will be a miracle. All right, let's do a test. Let's see if the Kraken will eat us. Almost 333, what is going on? Oh man, woo! War Thunder has been is I I wanted to like War Thunder, but I tried my hardest on it, and you cannot dampen the controls enough for me to, for I, I just couldn't dampen it enough to feel comfortable flying. Uh oh, wobble wobble. There we go. Okay. Holy moly. Yeah. All right, let's do this. Um, four? Let's see. One is is this. <laughs> Holy crap. Uh, two is, is our Panthers. Don't need yet. Three is Afterburners. Four electrical systems are a go. Good lord, I feel like I am playing one of those complex sims all of a sudden. SAS is active. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, those engines spinning up sounds so awesome. <laughs> oh man, yeah, I love the fact that I can, I can actually watch all the chat window and it's going through and I can keep an eye on it. And um, I just really like that. 
to me, it, there's like no better thing than be able to con be able to talk to the people that you know you, you're in contact with. Okay, well, let's see if it flies. We have plenty of lift. <laughs> Come on, come on. Let me go from the side here so I can, just in case I, I wanna make sure we're not, oh, there it goes. Oh God, that flies beautiful. Wow, okay. Wow. Okay, bring it down a little bit. Oh my god! It is like flying a giant dry dock. <laughs> All right, here we go. Engine's hot. Oh, I forgot the air brakes. I forgot air brakes. It's the one thing I forgot. Oh my god, this is beautiful. Oh, it stopped that. I need to target this thing properly. Oh. Oh. We are actually cruising pretty well right now. Wow! <laughs> oh my god, this is this is stunning because I didn't expect this to fly uh, the first time through. <laughs> Air brakes, uh, so I can accurately fly in on the on the on the vessel. <laughs> I need to fly in on the whistle. Whoa. We have a little bit of swing going to. Oh, I see what's going on here. We need to dive down. We need to dive down. So that way we get our direction going proper here. Oh my god. Oh god, this thing is a monster. Well, that's what she said. Alright, it's almost lined back up. Alright, good. Woo! I want to hit the ABs, but it's so close. I'm going to use the ABs on the way back, probably. <laughs> How many mods do I have? Kevin, that's a good question. I think I'm running around 40 to 50 mods right now. <laughs> um, no, I think I trimmed them back. I'm probably in the 30 to 40 range right now. It takes me a while to, to load up. Alright, we're going to have to use a lot more yaw than roll. Holy moly. Uh, I think if we touch the VAB, the entire thing would fall apart. Since the, the VAB... The VAB is clearly made out of styrofoam and nitroglycerin. Alright, diving down. Hello, little shuttle. All right. Killing thrust on our panthers. Dropping power to the props. All right. Counter thrust here. Oh. 
Oh, oh. Whoa. It's working. All right, here we go. Coming down nice and easy. Nice and easy. Holy crap. I'm sorry if I'm missing the messages. I'm trying to, it doesn't want a nice and easy right now. It doesn't want to nice and easy. <laughs> oh, I see why. Oh. All right. Increasing propeller strength. Increasing propeller. More propellers. More propellers. All right, coming back down. Whoa! More propellers. Oh. <laughs> this is why I needed my air brakes. This is why I needed my air brakes. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. Whoa! Oh no! <laughs> well, that's not how we're supposed to land! Holy crap! Alright, air brakes! <laughs> Definitely air brakes! <laughs> air brakes! Okay, what did I miss here? Oh man! Yeah, I, I I have a my vanilla load time is extremely fast, but uh, <laughs> yeah, I need to have I need to have air brakes so I can slow down because what was happening it was I was trying to slow down, and the craft started to turn. When the craft starts to turn and you're trying to slow down, you're gonna have a bad time. So let's throw some of these on here. All right, see you later, James. And let's throw this back here. Now we can slow down. Okay, so that's going to allow us to slow down a little better. I'm going to put another one in the back. I want to slow down more in the rear than in the front here. And that's going to give me some stability. And I need to add some more yaw control. My current yaw control situation was not good. That was not good at all. Okay. Looking good, looking good. <sighs> All right. Um... I'm actually going to take this off there put that here and move my roll control to the center I actually have some reaction wheels on here I actually do have some reaction wheels um the reaction wheels are here. Okay. And let's strut this one last time. 
<laughs> we don't always have those panthers going, so we don't have much. But those propellers actually have a bit of torque to them. So I do use those propellers because they do offer me a bit more stability as well. Just in case those are flailing around, that should help me. Okay. Okay. Well, I don't like to use, I don't like to over, to hog out the reaction wheels because it feels really, really wrong whenever I do. Because then I feel like I'm just overpowering physics in the game. And I want to fight physics a bit here. I want to fight it a little bit, sir. I can do it. I can knock it out. Third round. Okay. Alright, that should do it, because I think what we were missing was a little glide ability that a lot of these have. We need to remove that. See how we look. Woo! I'm glad I decided to check that! Alright, let's move this up. There. Okay. And now let's turn this back on. Okay. Cool. What's going on, Jake? Yeah, I try not to use RCS if I don't have to. Um, I try to remove RCS and I try not to use SAS. Um, because I try to just let the craft do its thing and then try to counter it. But sometimes for a VTOL craft and for choppers you got to use a little bit of torque because the game doesn't really process it very well uh what is this what is this is probably the question you're asking this is a shuttle retrieval system we're gonna fly it over and hopefully it works all right here we go we have toggled our sas we're turning on our electrical systems propellers are go Letting these spin up a little bit here. All right, we're spun up. Let's get into the air. <laughs> All right. A little bit more, a little bit more power, more power, there we go, engines are go, ABs are go, whoa, whoa, it doesn't like the engines being on the top, does not like the engines being on the top. That's what's going on. Oh! So our thrust is dropping us wicked. That's what's going on. Okay. So we need to flatten that out a bit. I mean, I, I can definitely do that. Uh oh. Oh, oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. Ah. Oh, <laughs> I was about to go. Some people like to watch the word burn. Oh god, I'm definitely one of the Oh look it's still flying. <laughs> okay, okay. Engine position. Engine position. <laughs> okay, so let's balance our thrust to our center of mass. And that should help us out immensely here. Uh this won't work. I tried to do that and it's not gonna work.
Okay, so we're going to throw this here. And then we can throw this here. Woo, this thing is not easy. I thought it would be a little easier to tell you the truth than this. But that should get us close. Let's see where we're at. Uh, let's turn this off. And we need to balance this this way. And this will now allow us to take this and lower this down this way. But we need to We need to turn this to zero, we need to turn this to zero. Take this, full throttle, and move this to here. And that's gonna give us a perfect thrust. Okay, thrust the way we want it. Okay, let's go ahead and fix this. This goes here, this goes here. And there you go. That should do it. So now when we hit our engines, our our Panthers, they should not flip us over. We could also come here and throw some additional torque on these. And that, I usually put one of these under my propellers anyway. All right. Okay. Let's see. What's going on here? Uh, blurry yesterday. It's always a cold periodical. Space, space, it's like space, space drugs. <laughs> space drugs. Okay. Let's get this bird flying. Oh my god. This one's taking some effort. It's taking some effort. But I'm confident that this will work. Mostly. I'm somewhat confident that these tweaks will work. I am more confident that that engine placement will work a lot better. Alright, here we go. All right, four is active. Propellers are go. Are these? Oh, that's not good. That could also be part of my, <laughs> could also be part of my troubles. All right, let's see how we're balanced. Looking good. Engines go. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> with the propellers a bit here. <laughs> Just to keep us balanced up, right? <laughs> We got it now. Oh. 
<laughs> Holy crap! Well, that was interesting! Well, these propellers aren't exactly doing what I want them to do at the moment. Uh, because I have them way too high powered. So I'm actually cutting them on and off so that I can get a good balance going on here. Okay. There we go. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> that was terrifying, and but it worked. It worked to get us. <laughs> oh, oh my god. I don't think it'll go up to a thousand meters per second. We need to switch our speed here to meters per second. There we go. All right, looking good. <laughs> My laugh is perverse. Wait, what did I miss? <laughs> All right, that is a feasible speed to control everything. All right, so we need to kill our horizontal speed. So let's kick our brakes up. And that's gonna get us go down a bit. <laughs> I am a villain. I could be a villain. I could be a great villain. I would be a fantastic villain. I've been practicing my villain laughs and everything. I'd be perfect. All right, let's come on down. <laughs> the world dies, everyone is so happy. <laughs> oh my god. All right, we need to slow down, we need to slow down, slow down. Slow down. Keep coming down. Doing good. Doing good. We're still doing good. Alright, coming down. I need to be able to see the aircraft if it's flat or not. Looking good. Looking good. I can overshoot. I'm fine with overshooting. We just need to land. All right. Keep it steady. Keep her steady. Keep her steady. Keep her steady. Keep her steady. Nice and easy. Come on down, come on down. Oh, and we have contact. We have contact. We've we've landed. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Oh man! 
I do need to do some slow down laughs. I tried to do this without scaring anybody. Oh man. Whoa. Whoa. That was slightly terrifying. Woo! Okay. Those go off. He's got on. All right. Let's get some movement going here. Woo! Oh, we need to. We need to. Hold on. Hold on. Let's slow down. Slow down. <laughs> and let's quick save. Right here. Perfect timing. Quick save. We're moving over the surface. Come on. Woo! <laughs> oh my god. The clown shoes worked like a charm. Come on, get me down to point four. Not doing it, huh? It does not want to speed me down. Come on, point eight. Maybe we can turn ourselves sideways. Here we go. There we go. And point four. Give me point four. Point two. Come on. Come on. All right, we got it. Okay. Oh. Okay, now part two. Let's collect our shuttle. Woo! Woo! Hopefully, it's the right size. If we got all the way down here and it's the wrong size, I would, I would still laugh. <laughs> All right. Let's come in on our craft. <sighs> We're kind of like ice skating right now. Oh my god. I should have put some retro burn engines on here. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> We're going to have to swing back around. It'll fit. It'll fit. It'll fit. Okay. So let's swing back around, kick up our engines a little bit here. I'm I am fine with uh, I'm fine with scooping this thing up backwards. I'm cool with that. I sir I should have I should have put some retro engines on there. Oh god, push push hard enough and you can fit anything. What are we talking about? <laughs> okay, let's roll in and scoop up. Alright, oh 
Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh god, okay. Oh my god, this part is the hard part. That's totally what she said. Okay. <laughs> About my birth? I think everyone was crying. I'm like, oh, that's what he, that's what we got? <laughs> I feel so disappointed. This feels like it's ice skating. Oh, sweet Jesus. Okay. We need to calm down a bit here. Get ourselves lined up. So, retrograde. Uh oh. Ooh, easy there, butt stallion. Whoa, that was intense. Okay, good. Okay, now we can swing ourselves around. That was an explosion. It was not an explosion this time. But I really wish I would have put a low-powered propeller on here for these slower maneuvers. Okay, so we're going to move in for the scoop. Oh, man. Luftwaffers. <laughs> no. Okay, nice and gentle. Going to slide it right on in. W I mean over and <laughs> see if we can do this all right just kind of easily gliding this in This is going to be the slowest part. So if you guys fall asleep, I definitely can understand. <laughs> All right. We got a good angle. We got a good angle. All right. Now we need to counter burn this in a few seconds. Counter burn, counter burn. All right, swing it on in. Oh my God, this is the painful part. The painful part. Okay. Okay. We got we got the height. We got the height. But do we have we should have enough of everything to cover this craft. We have to dodge the tail. And <laughs> then we have to swing back. Okay, we got it, 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 we got it. We got it. 
Oh crap, I forgot one very important part. Funk! Okay, I'm cool with that, because it gets us in the perfect position. I just have to spin us around. Kind of. Okay. <laughs> That's what I didn't think about. I was like, yeah, we can, oh wait, wait a second. We have the tail right here. <laughs> All right, we're still gonna try. we're gonna F five right here, and we're going to extend and try. So let's rotate down. All right, let's rotate up. <laughs> yes, I, I have quick saved. I quick saved. Um, problem is, we have this thing loaded mega funky. So, we are actually going to have to limit these in the back. Let's drop these down to 88. Of course these don't line up perfectly all right whatever game okay well let's see what happens let's see let's see what happens we're totally not center of mass right now but you know sometimes if you're gonna be a bear be a grizzly <laughs> let's see what happens if it even lifts it that would be amazing. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. What? Oh god, 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 oh god. Oh god. Oh god, okay, okay. Alright, let's hold, hold, hold steady. Hold steady. Snatch and grab successful. Holy crap! Holy crap! Holy crap! <laughs> oh my god! Did this really just work? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> God. Okay. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. No, we don't have any lights anyway. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, this is a it hasn't happened in a long time. I haven't had something actually work uh this quickly. My arm is getting a little worn out from having to do quick taps on the uh, on the roll, but it's working. <laughs> we are almost almost to the KSC. We are almost there. <laughs> okay. I still have my brake. I'm I'm leaving my brakes on too, because I don't want to go too fast. Oh my god! Okay. Oh wow! <laughs> uh, I I'm pretty sure that any official place would just 
you know, use a crane and a... Unless they were trying to steal a burn or something. <laughs> For some reason, they wanted a burn. Alright, nice and easy, because this is going to be a pain in the butt to land. Okay, okay. Holy crap! Hopefully it's not too dark. It's not too dark for you guys to see, is it? Because I should have done this during the day. And then again, if you're gonna steal a chop, if you're gonna steal a, a shuttle, you probably want to do it at night anyway. <laughs> it is kind of beautiful, and the fact that it actually worked so well, uh, now is the actual scary part of landing, because we need to slow down a little bit, and come down for a landing. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Coming down. Coming down. Countering. Throttle down a bit more. All right, here we go. If this works, this is the time to do it. Ah! Come on. Come on. Come on. Give me control. Got it. All right. All right. All right. We got it. We got it back. Slowing down. Slowing down. Slowing down. Slowing down. Throttle up a little bit. Throttle back down, throttle back down, throttle back down, throttle back down, throttle back down. Holy balls. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Engine's dead. Oh, we did it! We're here! <laughs> Boom! Yes! <laughs> we have landed! Oh my god! That was ridiculous! <laughs> Woo! Okay, let's lower this down. Lowering down our shuttle. All right, retracting. And we are safe. <laughs> oh my god. Yes. That just totally worked. <laughs> we have recovered a shuttle. <laughs> Oh man, that was awesome. That was awesome. I didn't think it would work. All right, we're going to quick save. Let's get some light in here. Good Lord. There we go. There we go. We have successfully recovered a shuttle. Wow! Okay! Alright. 
Let's move ourselves from over top of this thing and then gently land. I just want to get some, some separation from the shuttle. All right. Let's come on down. All right. Good there. Okay. A little separation from the shuttle. <laughs> oh, man. Well. <laughs> Plane fan, what's going on, my friend? Holy moly. I can't believe this actually worked. <laughs> A flying Glomer Explorer. We just, oh, man. That was excellent. Excellent. Well, that was cool. I actually like that. That was awesome. But I, I, I am going to get on out of here though. We've been we're closing it on two hours. Uh, that was a that was a cool hour build, and then the actual implementation. That was cool. Is that the P this is the PC version. We did not have any explosions. We well we did have a few explosions. We did have a few explosions. <laughs> but this actually ended up working. Move it back a little bit more. Little bunny hops. There you go. So people can see the two crafts separate here. Oh, man. Yes, it is time for, for us to close this on down. And uh, what we can do, if you guys want, we can pick uh, a, a, we can pick one of these Wednesdays. And one of these Wednesdays, we can grab a game like um, No More Room in Hell. And we can play no, a game with all of us together. Well, it's like eight players, up to eight players and no more room for, in hell. We could try to all get together and see if we can play. Uh, eight of us, I suppose. Or we can see if there's an, an MMO we can jump on. But I definitely want to try no more room in hell. I've played it before and it's an amazing game and it's a lot of fun. But uh, what other systems is it on? It is on X, Xbox and PS4, I believe. I believe. Uh, if you don't have KSP, buy KSP. It is a lot of fun. So many crazy things you can get into. But I gotta get on out of here. I will kiss you guys in the next video. My video coming out Thursday. <laughs> video coming out Friday. And catch us on Discord. We're always on Discord. Um, and also, you can... Uh, we have a DMP going. Even though DMP is just... Dear God, once you once you do this many things on DMP, it, it tends to hiccup. So it's having hiccups. <laughs> I will catch you guys in the next one. And uh, we'll definitely have to do this next Wednesday. All right. Peace. Go check out the channel if you haven't yet and subscribe and stuff and things. Do magical things with your fingers. Well, with the subscribe button or, you know, whatever floats your boat. <laughs>